Cruz was saying too, and it is important, you know, I remember when I would do uh, meetings way back when in different, you know, in my business and something would go wrong. The computer died, the battery went out and I used to panic. And now I just like laugh and say, guys, listen, stuff happens. It's all good, right? You just roll with it. It's not like before, man, years ago, if, if I lost audio, I had to lie back in. I start sweating. I had an afro. I lose my hair. Now I have no hair, so I can't do that. But <laughs> it is no biggie. You just roll with the punches. That's what we do, right, guys? We just roll with the punches. So where were we, Gary? Sorry about that. Go ahead. It's COVID. We yeah. gonna, we're going to blame everything on COVID. Okay. Um, I, I agree. <laughs> I totally lost where were we, but I, I like you to answer a question that everybody, since we talked about other network marketing companies, I've been in, in, in many, more than, I, I think it's about 15, my last count. Uh, I know you have been into a few too. Uh, a lot of people wants to know this and they always have this, this objection from their clients saying that, you know what, Enagic is a one-time thing. You know, you buy a water machine and, and it lasts you like, Enagic, right? Made in Japan. It lasts you for the next 15 years, 20 years, you know? So a lot of people have this concern, oh, there's no repeat sales compared to a nutritional supplements where I have to buy it every day. Um, my, my, my facial cream or something that I need to buy every day. What's your take on that? What do you actually tell somebody who says, hey, you know what, really, you don't have passive income because what, after you sold it to one person and that's it, you know? What's your take on that, uh, Willie? Well, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, I, I, uh, I remember I was in a company that sold supplements, lotions, and potions and stuff like that. Your average monthly pay on them was about $35. So it would take a couple of years to earn the same income that I would earn by selling a machine as a 6A where I'm earning over $2,000. So... Yeah, it might not be the residual side, even though we do get paid on filters, but, and some Ucon as well. But you know what? Give me that money up front. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Gary, um, I, 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 we're not talking income here, but I know you make a whole lot of money. And I make, I make a whole little money, which is all good. But at the end of the day, you know, my, uh, when I joined the Nagic, my first, I hit 6A in 90 days. And I always did this business part-time. Today, I do it part-time. I've always been part-time. Like I said, I was a full-time detective. I had other things going on, a lot of overtime. But when I got in the company, when I do something, I put my head into it, my heart into it, I run hard. I hit 6A in my first 90 days. In my first 12 months in this company, I made over $220,000. That was more than I was earning on my regular job. Um, you're so, a beast, man. You know, You're a machine. You know, oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. And, um, you know, there are a lot of stories out there. I did well. There are people who have done much better than me. But it's because of what we're selling. Like you said earlier, it's a high ticket art item, which means high commissions, high item, high commissions. I can build an army of, you know, in other companies, you might need four, 5,000 people to make $10,000. Uh, probably change into... Jeffrey, are you there, Jeffrey? Uh, you need to unmute yourself. Yes, I'm here. Jeff, you know what's going on? Why Why is my account like a, a, a normal account? I, we I think there for... might be something wrong with Zoom today because yours is a paid subscription. Uh, and the one that they're hosting now is a, is a free meeting. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, yeah, so guys, I, I, I'm truly sorry. Um, apologies on behalf of Zoom. Um, not sure why this is happening. Um, Jeff, are you able to locate, uh, what's his name, uh, Willie, and see his, if he's back in? Yes, he's not in yet. He's not in? Okay. Willie, Willie, oh, he's not in yet. Um, yeah, so guys, as I mentioned, for 40 minutes only, Gary, for free Zoom meeting. <laughs> I paid money, Raymond. I'm not sure why this is happening. Oh, gosh. Uh, well, anyway. Um, anyway, you guys want to hear a story? Very interesting story. Wait, let me just uh, make spot spotlight for everyone. Yeah, okay. Spotlight, uh, view, gallery, view, speaker. 
Okay, it's at Spotlight. Okay. Do you all want to hear a story? If you all want to hear a story, give me a thumbs up about this thing of, uh, you know, um, when, when, you know, that saying when shit hits the fan, what do you do, right? So this was like five years ago. I still remember when I was doing a big event in Davao City in the Philippines, the most southern part of the Philippines. And we had something like 300, 400 people in that room that, that day. Okay. It's in a very beautiful hotel, pillarless. Everybody can see each other. And I'm on stage. I'm on stage giving my talk. And you know what happened, guys? Not only the whole ballroom went blackout, no lights, my microphone went out as well. So a lot of people in that, at that point of time will be freaking out, right? Three, four hundred people in that room. I'm supposed to deliver my powerful speech as usual. I was supposed to even give a song. I was supposed to sing that night. I mean... Some of y'all have saw, I sang on, on, on that stage. That was after the electricity came back. But for a while, I think for an hour, there was no electricity. And you know what happened? I talked in spite of the blackout. Everybody was in darkness. Some of them started turning on their camera lights. My mic went off and I have to go to 200 people. But you know what, guys? What I learned from that kind of event is that it doesn't matter what happens in your life. It's what you do with what happens that's most important. I could have got mad and just storm out of the room, you know, probably go out and go and do other things. Or I can just do it again. So coming back to today's Zoom session, yeah, I know it's... it's uh, Jeff, if you don't mind, just look out for Willie. Uh, so that you can bring him in. Um, so, okay, guys, if he's going to lock out for another two or three times, if you guys can stay stay with us, there's a lot of things to learn. If you can't, then no worries. We'll find a way to put the recording to you, okay? But whatever it is, the show goes on. <laughs> you know what? Because after this, I've got a bike ride to go. I'm in a very beautiful weather right here in Cameron Highlands. But today is a show that I need to bring it on really have some very interesting information to share with you guys. It's my obligation to make sure that something that he shared is possibly able to change your life. Okay. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Even if today the Zoom session has to be logging off two or three times, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to do it. All right. Uh, whoever that is going to get the this benefit. Okay. That, that's, that's another thing. Now, coming back to this, you know, the last few days I, I was staying, I'm staying up here in Cameron Islands. I do a lot of walking, especially in the fresh, nice mountain air. And one of the days that I was walking, uh, this thing came to me. This thing came to me. And I just, since uh, Willie is not here, uh, wait, let me just see if I can. Willie is not in the room, right, uh, Jeffrey? Yes, maybe you can drop in a message. Yeah, I'll, I'll just give him a call. Oh, a, a bird just flew into my house. Gosh. Oh my. Hey, hey, hey bro, uh, are you back online, bro? Yeah, I, I can jump back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do uh, Please do. Everybody is up here waiting for the superstar already. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Bye. Okay, so Jeff, look out for Willie. If he's, if he's in, uh, just uh, make him a co-host and uh, spotlight him. All right, anyway, you see the problem with our education industry People as children, you know, you were once a children, you are trained to fit into something that you are not. And again, I want to mention this. If you are a fish, please be the best swimmer that you can ever be as a fish. Don't try to be a best climber as a monkey because you are not designed and made as a monkey. You are a fish. So what I'm trying to say is be the best of who you are and, and what really folks mentioned just now is very true. Every one of y'all has something that can offer to the world that can change the world. You just don't know it. And we are so fixated with what society wants us to be. You know, there's a saying, you can either be a lawyer, a doctor or a failure. So why is there only three options? Doctor, lawyer, failure. Why don't you be somebody that you are meant to be? And you don't need to copy somebody. 
a lot of people are very sure they like to be me, but you don't have to be me. You can be you. And you are the best thing that the world will ever have. Okay, so Willie, back to you again since you are back online. Um, okay, Willie, share with us. Uh, let me just get this back. So, so you mentioned just now about the lotions and potions and how you're getting paid in advance for all the auto ships that you'll be getting over in those country, uh, in those companies, one sale will be equivalent to um, probably a, a year or, or two years of a, a, an action of another company. Am I right to say that? Sure, easily, easily, yeah, easily. And when I go to sign people up, I, I even tell people, I said, listen, you're an auto ship. Most of those companies have a, uh, a, an auto ship where a customer's got to pay on average about $120,000. Let's just say $100 a month they've got to pay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's over $1,200 a year. In 10 years, they'd be paying over $12,000 in product that really, you know, they could really get somewhere else where here it's a one-time purchase. So from a business side and from a customer side, We've got something that really is, um, you know, uh, 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 uncomparable to the industry. So I like the high ticket item, you know, uh, it is what it is. And if you really go to work and you build a team out and you get to that dash three, that dash four, that dash five, I mean, you're basically set for life. Uh, you know, those other companies don't do that. What, what Mr. O'Shea has given us is really um, uh, amazing. And it's not to say that it's easy to do, but let's face it, I mean, it probably took me part time, I'd say about three and a half to four years to hit dash three. Um, but it's worth the work. You know, I worked over 24 years to get a pension of about $10,000 a month. I do a lot more than that in this company. And I've been with them for 13 years and I have to worry about bullets flying over my head. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever fired a pistol and, and sh Shoot no. somebody before in your life? No, no, no. That's a lot of TV. You know, you were talking about Denzel Washington. I know I look like Denzel. But, uh, no, no, no. You look better than Denzel. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Only one better would be looking like you, Gary. But you know, most, <laughs> most, most cops only fire their gun at the range. That's a lot of TV stuff. There are a couple of people that get involved in incidents, but that's not the norm by any means. No. Right. Okay. Thank God. Well, right? I don't want to shoot anybody. Right. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Tell us, um, 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 Willie, you, you, you and I know that people is the lifeblood of our business. It's more than the product, right? People, our people, right? How, how do you actually get your people to, be, to stay motivated, to get, to get them to be always, you know, because everybody has their ups and downs, their, their good days, their bad days. How do you get your people to get like, like, for example, Tamiya or, or whoever, you know? Well, you know, Gary, I, I Do you get you. them to stay motivated and continue on that journey? You know, that's, that's a good question, Gary. Um, it's really, we are in the motivation business to a degree. I mean, you look at Tony Robbins and some of those speakers out there. Motivation is great, but really a person's got to find it inside themselves. Uh, we all have plenty of people on our teams that we wish would go out and do half of what we do because we'd all be dash sixes if they did. That's not going to be the case, right? They've got to, people have got to really want it. They've got to really want it and really know what their why is and really work for that why. I always knew when I got involved in the business, although I had a great job already, I always knew my why was to put myself in a position that I would have enough money to do whatever I wanted to do, whenever I wanted to do it. Does that mean I had to be a multimillionaire? No, but it meant that I had to have enough money to do whatever I wanted to do, whenever I wanted to do it. So everybody's goal is different. You know, Cynthia Bigotti, you know, she probably makes $200,000 a month. You probably make $500,000 a month. I don't know what your numbers are, but I know you, you do well, but it's all up to the individual, but you've got to have that why inside of you. Know what you're working for, what your goal is, what you want for you and your family. And, you know, you've got to do that. Uh, I hate trying to wake up the dead. One of the hardest things we do is, and we all have people in our organizations that we wish uh, they would do more. And sometimes we want it more than they want it. 
So there's a, there's a limit to it, you know. If they're not jumping on these calls, you know, how serious are they? You know, they say 99% is showing up, you know, showing up. And that's why I congratulate the people on this webinar when we first jumped on because the people here showed up. And that's important. So, you know, we always want to give a little motivation. It's really good. But at the end of the day, you can motivate a lot of people that just get motivated for a minute as well, you know. Right in New Year's, everybody gets motivated to get into the gym. Come January 10th, half those people are gone. So, you know, <laughs> we know I'm one of those guys too. <laughs> that, that, that's an awesome tip there, you know. Um, so do, do you advise people to, to keep pushing their, their people who are sleeping or just let those sleepers to sleep and work on the new guys that have better motivation and know their wise? Um, I can tell you now, uh, it's a lot easier to give new birth to a newborn than try and wake up the day. Um, <laughs> I can tell you that. I can tell you that. Um, you know, from time to time, there's nothing wrong with picking up a phone saying, hey, how you doing? You know, are you looking to get back involved? You know, once in a while, I'm not going to chase anybody down. But, you know, once every couple of months, once every uh, six months, twice a year, whatever, it's okay to reach out. And say, how you doing? Do you want to get back in? But if, you know, if, if people will show you, if they're, if they're ready to go, you know, people will show you, you know, I didn't need Tamia to get me motivated. You know, she came and did my first presentation at my house. And when the presentation was over, we had a great crowd. We sold uh, three machines at my first meeting. There's only five people there and I had three sales. But I told the people right then and there to give her a big round of applause because you'll probably never see her again doing a presentation at my house because I knew I didn't need her. Right. She can go do other things. Uh, I, I, you know, you, you, your, your reward was bringing Willie folks into your business and then let me go and build your reap the benefits, which is fine. And we all want self doers like that. Uh, and how many people are in our businesses now that have had that say they want to make money. They say they want to build a business, but yet they've had the machine for over six months. And they've never even done a presentation. Well, the proof is in the pudding. They're not serious. You know, we can all go out there and put the uh, drops in the water, right? It's not hard to do. Yeah. I, I, I guess, uh, really, you have a very good point there. Um, a lot of people somehow have that, that, that how should I say that, okay, I, I, I get a great guy up there to do something for me, you know, but, but the whole idea is about you stepping up to the game and playing that leadership role yourself. And, and you don't have to be a 6A. I mean, really, you mentioned it. Even as a 1A or 2A, you have already started doing your own meetings, right? So, uh, yeah, sure. so, so guys, the, the, again, what we really mentioned here, which is really good, is you need to be the leader that you want to, to have. Okay, and don't stop waiting around like, oh, 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 I'm going to wait for my key leader, my top leader to do this for me. I'm going to wait for this to arrange it. No, do it. Do it yourself because this is your own business. A lot of people tend to forget that Enagic is their own business. It's not about their uplines or sidelines, downlines, underline, you know. It's your business. Get it done. Do it, you know. Yeah, so really, thanks, thanks for reminding us that, that point again because it's so important and, and that's the reason why where you are where you are today. Sure, and I, again, I can tell you, you know, like I said earlier in the um, call, my first meeting, the uh, gentleman did the meeting, he said to me, Willie, if you want to make the real money, You've got to be the person in front of the room. And what happens is when you start stepping out and doing that, even if you make a mistake, who cares? Because the people you're presenting to don't know you made a mistake anyway, right? They don't know you did something wrong. You, you laugh it off. You play it off. It doesn't matter. But when you start doing those things and when you become the leader, you get this posture. And it's all about posture and confidence. Some people call it cocky. It doesn't really matter. But once you're that person, that guy, that lady knows how to go out there and get it done, then people start getting attracted to you. And the point you made, Gary, is, you know, no one should sit around waiting for Gary or their upline to do their business. They did their job by bringing you in. They did their job by training you. Now you've got to get out there and do the do. If you're not doing presentations and you're not building a business, if you're not putting the work in, then you're not building it. And then people will never want to follow you because you're not exhibiting those attributes that make somebody want to follow you you know when i go and sit down with a person and i know that some people believe in giving away a lot of water and all that stuff 
that was never my deal. You know, I mean, I gave a little bit of water away, but I was not the water guy, you know. Uh, the detectives, my cops called me the water detective because I, they knew I was in the water business, but I wasn't that guy that drove around with 12 gallons of water just giving people water all day. That doesn't really work to me, to each his own. I was a guy that would sit down with somebody and I'd paint a picture of how this machine can change your life. And I could draw the numbers out. You know, if you can't sit down and draw this compensation plan and say, hey, listen, you get started, you buy this, and then you go out and you recruit a couple of people and get them to do this and do that. And you start drawing those circles, as I call it, right? Start drawing the dialer signs, get people dreaming, get them going. Now, all of a sudden, a four or five thousand dollar investment is not a big deal when I painted a picture on how that investment can literally make them financially free. It's all about telling that story. And we can all tell a good story. And if you can't, well, get good at it. Get out there and do it. That's the only way to do it is to do it, right? Isn't that what Michael Jordan said? Just do it. Amazing. You, you have a lot of points, very, very good points over there, guys. I hope you guys are taking a lot of notes. These are very priceless, worth millions. Now, really, there's another question that is always asked by a lot of people all over the world. Everywhere that I travel, people always ask me this. And we want, we want to hear it from you. Do you, let's say you talk to somebody you know, not perfect strangers, but somebody you know, do you lead by the business? What's your take on that? Well, that's a good question, Gary. Number one, you've got to know who you are and who they are. If you're someone that they look to as someone that's um, a money maker, or they look at you as someone that's successful, you've got to know who you are. Because if you're not that guy or that girl, you can't be that guy or that girl. When you're new in the business, and you start reaching out to friends and family, trust me, they know you're new in the business because they know you. Uh, if you just asked them to borrow $10 a week ago, you can't really go to them and tell them how they're going to make a lot of money, right? So you're going to know you. So if you're not that person, I teach people to lean on the upline at that point. And trust me, there is nothing more valuable than a three-way call with someone that's getting it done. So if you're a new person, you've got access to a Gary or you've got access to a 4A or a 6A that does the do and you're new, then your story is just, hey, listen, man, you know me, I, I borrowed $5 from you a week ago and I'm always looking to change my situation. I came across something that's amazing. I'm excited about it. I'm just getting started, but I'm working with somebody that's making a whole lot of money and they're going to help me make a whole lot of money. And they told me that they'd help me. And if there's anyone that I know that might be interested in making some serious money or changing their health, whatever your story might be, that they'd be willing to have a conversation with you. Remember, you're telling your prospect that your upline or your support system or whatever you want to call them, they'd be willing to have a quick, a quick conversation with you and then what you do is you get them, your prospect, on the phone with that person that's already doing it, that person that's already making the money, and let them paint the picture because they'll recruit them for you. Now, if you're a Gary or someone that's making good money and you're already doing it, well, now you can come from a different place of posture because you're already doing it. And I can tell you, when I sit and speak with somebody, you know, my posture is like this. Hey, listen, I got something that's made me a whole lot of money. It's helped a lot of people, physically, mentally, and financially. If you're interested, I'd love to meet up with you. And that's my posture. If you're not, it's all good. I'm not chasing you around, my friend, because I know what I have is not just good, but it's great. That's a fact, right? That's a fact. We don't have to, you know, when we first got started with Enagic, Enagic was just getting started in the United States. So we didn't have a long track record. We could point to what they did in Japan but still, we didn't have a track record here in the United States. Today, I can sit and talk to anybody and say, listen, I've been with this company for over 13 years. There has not been one week, and hear this carefully, my friends, since the time I joined this company, there has not been one week that has went by that I have not received multiple checks. 
Think about that for a second. Just think about that for one second. Over 13 years, and I don't care how much the checks are. I don't care if it's $10,000 or $5,000. I don't care if it's $1,000 a week. There has not been a week that's went by that I have not went to that mailbox and received some checks. That's a powerful story. That's a powerful story. And again, my checks ain't as big as Gary's, but <laughs> I do all right for myself. Wow, really? You just nail it at the at, at where it's supposed to be nailed. I mean, guys, think about this. Really, it's 13 years. I'm 10 years this April. Same with really not a single week or day goes by that I've not got a check. I mean, in, 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 Egypt, in, in Malaysia, we don't get checks because checks get lost in the mail. <laughs> yeah, in Malaysia, we, we get... Deposit. We want direct deposit in the United States. Yeah, yeah. In, in, in Malaysia, we get... We get I, I tell you this, okay. Can, can I just add something really just... Just to impress, not not to impress, just just to give, just to give our people um, an idea of what who is in magic, okay? So so guys, uh, I'm I'm not sure if you you guys have heard it before, but I still remember when I was staying in Cynthia's Cynthia Briganti's house. Uh, this was easily like uh, four years ago, four 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 or five years ago um, after the convention. In, in US, in Vegas, and then I, I, I stayed in Cynthia's home. And it's morning in, in Los Angeles, and it's at night. Uh, no, it's at night in Los Angeles, uh, in San Diego, and it's morning in, in Malaysia, right? So as I'm about to hit the bait, as I was about to knock myself off at night, I got a message, okay? And that's how, and that's how we know that, that money is in the bank, right? So I got a message from Enagic Malaysia and said that they have just banked in 23,580 US dollars into my bank account. I mean, oh, and, and, and guys, can, can you imagine that? It's like half a month I've not been working and I get that love letter. Wow, like, oh, <laughs> hey, sorry, this, this is not a, this is not an income claim. It's just to tell you that Enagic never fails to pay. All right. So yeah, yeah. Really, you 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 just given us a very amazing um 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 reminder that we are actually in a fantastic company. Thirteen years, ten years. What 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 else to doubt about this company, right? All right. Come again. I said we're looking younger than when we started. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Willie, tell tell. Since you mentioned that um, you don't deliver water, right? And uh, you, you said it very well because, guys, you, you know me all this while, especially my team here. Uh, I don't deliver water myself. Um, if ever, and this was in the very early days of my, my energetic career, um, they will come to my house to pick water and, and later too many people come fine. to my house. That's fine. Yeah, we got a part we can give away for free, Gary. So, yeah. Yeah. It's okay to give away water. I yeah. just said I wasn't a delivery boy. I'm not going yes. around delivering yeah. gallons all over the town. Yeah. They, can come get water. they can come get water all day, man. It's free. <laughs> we got the only company. That's another big point, guy. Tell people, listen, we're one of the only companies where we can give our product away for free. All day long. Free. Free, 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 free. Free. No other company can just give their products away for free like that. So, good yeah. point. Yeah, that, that's a fantastic point. So, so really, if, if you don't give out water, um, how, how are people convinced about the product? Uh, do you do a whole lot of demos or, 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 or you go straight to the business? You, you go straight to showing them the money or, or what do you do? No, we, well, we always, the demo is what sells everybody. You know, let's face it, guys. For the most part, no one's going to drink a gallon of our water and start jumping over the moon. Right? It's not a miracle product. It's a great product, but it's not a miracle product. So people give people water. Yeah, it does taste good. It tastes like water. But are you really going to get great, amazing results off a gallon of water? No, you're not. You're not going to. So it's the demo that makes people realize that what we have is better than what they're drinking, right? Because they can see that. It's our testimonies and it's our education on the device that gives them the value to buy the machine. 
And that's what we do. So we always did a demo, always, always, always. But then when it came to the money, I mean, we still get checks here in the United States. And I'm just going to show you guys. You, you probably can't see the dates and all. But these are like, well, this one's like $4,000, wow. $8,000. But these are, you can see the check. Like, this is like this year alone. And I haven't, I normally put them in binders because when I do meetings, when I go and sit with somebody for a one on one, that's the one thing about having great with paper checks is I make copies. And when I sit with somebody, I have a binder and I'll just say, hey, listen, man, flip through the numbers, the date, my name, they're all right on here. And my binder's been full. I got about six binders here at my house. I don't carry all my binders to the meetings. I'll just do like the last year and I'll just bring them and say, listen, you can, you know, don't steal none of them because they're already in the bank. They're already cashed, right? These are just copies. <laughs> so I got my copy machine, as you see, right? Yeah. Right? I just keep copying them. I haven't had a chance to throw them into the folder yet. They're all I checks. Think, I think, I think, really showing this, showing this, this stuff is much, way much better than seeing an alkaline or a micro cluster thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> You better believe it. You better you know, believe it. You, you know, really, it's so interesting since you showed me this. You brought me back to a memory that I first started my first online uh, uh, online network marketing business. I'm not sure if you heard of this company called Skybeast 2000. And that's no. way back in 2000. Uh, it's one of the first internet multi-level marketing, you know, that, that was a real hit in Malaysia. And I still remember my upline. He doesn't need to talk much about the whole thing. He doesn't need to say much about everything. But he just come in with, with this fan of his checks, you know. He just keep fanning the checks. That's all he does. Eh? Everybody just keeps signing in. <laughs> hey, hey, Gary, yeah. at the end of the day, we all say, you know, we all want good health. Yes, of course, because there's nothing more important than your health. But what does every business person really want? Money, money, money. <laughs> Show me the money. Let's not fool ourselves, guys. Yeah. Let's not fool ourselves. Show me the money. So, me. you know, again, if you're, if you're not the one with the checks, tell somebody else's story. Yep. You know, talk, talk about that good-looking guy named Gary that, you know, <laughs> he's making, he's changed his life, his family's life. He's got the vacation house. He's got all that. Let me see if he's got five minutes to say hello to you. He's a busy guy, but maybe he has five minutes to just say hello. Because yeah. trust me, you get a guy like Gary on the phone with one of your prospects, he ain't got to do a whole lot of talking. His conversation is going to be less than five minutes, trust me, unless they have some questions. But as far as what he's got to say, he can do all he's got to say in about 10, 15 minutes tops, and that call is over with. It's over with. You're right. I think, I think really you... Oh, guys, again, the message came. Uh, your meeting will end in 10 minutes. So, guys... I'm Gary, sorry. you're gonna start paying that bill. You make way too much money. <laughs> I saw that thing. It said $14.99. Pay your bills, Gary. Pay your bills. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't to you. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna cash one of these checks and I'm gonna give you $14. How's that? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, guys, seriously, if you're locked out, please, sorry, thousand of things. I'd like to highlight something that uh, Willie mentioned. Really, really important. Just in case you didn't hear it clear, I want to say this. Now, guys, I want you all to make... I want you all to make it inconvenient for your people. The word is inconvenient because sometimes you want to impress your people by being too convenient. So what Willie mentioned is like, you know, hey line is super busy. He only had five minutes to just say, you know, when you do that kind of posturing, people value you more rather than you say, oh, I've got all the time for you. I'm here. My doors are always open. I'm sitting. I've got nothing to do. Just waiting for you. People won't appreciate you a single bit. So positioning and posturing is very important. Thank you, Willie, for bringing that up because a lot of people make the suicidal mistake of being too available too easy, too convenient, and people just take them for granted. Nothing is happening. Um, Patricia, I, I can see you are taking a lot of notes. Great. Uh, I want this message to sink into you because that's exactly what I was telling you yesterday when we were having lunch. Okay. Um, 
be inconvenient. So your people, I mean, can you imagine you are trying to meet the prime minister of a country and the prime minister said, you know what, Patricia, I've got the whole day for you. I've got nothing to do. I'm just waiting for your call. You won't take him seriously, right? You're like, okay, I'll just, uh, I'll call you at midnight, you know? Yeah, but he's the prime minister. You know, to see him, it'll take you 10 years. And, and after 10 years, you're only going to meet him for two minutes. You're going to take him like, wow, you know? So our business is people business. It has a lot to do with positioning, posturing, and, and that value that you bring to people. So a lot of time, a lot of people, when they look at me, I mean, I have all the time in the world. I'm, I'm having really good lifestyle, but I'm very busy to my people, not because I want to be busy, but because that posturing is very important, you know? And at the same time, you are empowering your people to give them a chance to do more rather than they do nothing and tax it on you and your time. And, and that's where a lot of people screw up in, in, in terms of their lifestyle, in terms of their time freedom. So yeah, really, you just brought up a fantastic point there. I just, I just would like to highlight it to the people who are on this call today. So really, just tell us another thing, really. Um, you, 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 you have seen success in, in both other network marketing and in Enagic. Tell us what do you think is so different with this company especially there are a lot of new people here today. And what, how do you see the owners, Mr. and Mrs. Soshiro, as an individual that, that started this company? What, what do you see in Enagic? Well, uh, again, Enagic is a great company. There's a lot of great companies out there, right? Uh, but I can just speak for uh, Enagic as far as Mr. and Mrs. Oshiro go. Like I, I, I met him when they first did the first meeting in New York. He came over and I gave him a little replica detective badge. And every time I see him since then, he never forgets me. He always comes up to me, Willie. He still carries that badge around. Uh, his heart is just a heart of gold. Um, him and his wife, what a lovely couple. And, you know, he really does believe that every household in this world should have one of his machines in there. And it's all about us. There is no company that pays out over 57% of their sales to the field. There is no company that does that. And a lot of people can understand how we do what we do. And the price of these machines have not changed since day one. Wow. Since day one, the machine prices are the same. Can you imagine that? 40 years and the prices have not changed? You never hear that. You never hear that. So we've got some great, great founders. And um, they're just awesome, awesome people. And and when you meet him, you can tell. We didn't even speak the same language. And when I go to Japan, he puts me in his golf group. When I was in California, Willie, you come play with me. Uh, as a matter of fact, the last time we were in California at his golf course that he just bought, when the thing was all over, he invited me. I was the only distributor there that invited to his house with all of his employees. We wow. were there drinking, singing karaoke. Wow. And I was the only employee invited there that was so special so just a great human being him and his wife uh the reason really i was showing you my phone just now is can you imagine through the years how much price increase the iphone has cost you now <laughs> and we have not even increased a single cent from the day you joined right 13 years ago and today is still 3980 for the sd501 right Same. i mean so, so I, this is what I like to say. Don't judge something by what somebody says. Judge something by what somebody does. And, and it's really, really true. In as you, I, 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 I feel exactly the same uh, with you. And um, I, I look at Mr. Oshiro just like my father, if not my grandfather. Um, we don't, I, I don't speak Japanese, although I can speak a little bit Skoshi. <laughs> But uh, I, I feel his connection, I still remember just before the lockdown, I was blessed to be in Okinawa to have a private dinner with Mr. and Mrs. Oshiro in their hotel in, in Naha City in, in Okinawa. Very humble. Um, Mrs. Oshiro personally went to the counter to book a room for me. Um, and, and they were like, you know, uh, words just can't describe it, but... You, you can feel that, that, that heartbeat, that, that, that warmth and that sincerity. 
So uh, I, I won't say that the company is perfect. Yes, everything has its ups and downs. Everything has its imperfection. But at least one thing I can know, I, I know is that they are genuine. Uh, their heart is there. They, they really love the people. And mm. uh, yeah, um, it is really, really comforting to know that uh, we are in this platform, this company, and, and we wake up feeling so fulfilled and we go to bed feeling um, really, um, uh, yeah, so fulfilling, yes. And hydrated. Oh. Yeah, right. yeah, that's true. That's true, Willie. Really. Okay, Willie, really tell us, there are some new people here on this call today. Somebody that looks up to you, probably they don't know you, but today they heard, wow, Willie, really, 30, uh, 90 days, 6A, and within four years, uh, dash three. What can you give an advice to a new people? Let's say they join today. They are brand new, 0A. What can you give that advice to them that they can also one day be like you? What will that be? I would just say get out there and do as many demos as possible. We can all get a couple of bottles of water. We all got the red, the red, uh, you know, the red dye there. Um, uh, and just go out and do demos and get good at telling your story and why you're doing it and put your heart and your passion behind it. Because I can guarantee you that if you go out and show 10 people a demo, you're going to probably get on average about two, two, out of, two sales out of 10. You know, uh, and that's how you just get it going. But just put the work in, put the effort in. We know we have is good. Like we've done it. So it's one thing when, like I said, when we first started, we were just doing it. We didn't know what could happen. You guys have a whole track record to look back on. And like I said, it's not a question of does it work? We know it works. The only question is, will it work for you? And that's what it comes down to. There is nobody that can join this company. If they put the work in, they will definitely reap the reward. So if you're new, Learn how to do the demo. It's easy. And now with technology, I mean, you should have seen some of the tools we had when we first started. There wasn't even a good demo out there. Now with all the stuff that's online, I save a lot of that stuff. I record a lot of that stuff. Now I can send somebody. When I, when I prospect somebody, I can just shoot them over a quick video on their phone and then follow up with them, you know, um, you know, just to kind of like tease them a little bit and then follow up with them and sit down and show them the numbers. But learn your business and realize that the name of your company is not a magic. The name of your company is your last name incorporated. That's the name of your company. Wow. And that's just one elect that allows you to do it. So that's your business. And like any business, you know, when you start a business, if you don't go out there and put the work in, you know what? Your business closes. If you don't put the work in, your business closes. If you don't get customers, your business closes. Doesn't matter what business you're in. So treat this like a business. And even if you do it part-time, most of us are part-time. I've always been part-time, right? Um, so if you're, if you're, if you're doing it part-time, part-time is fine, but part-time does not mean part effort. It means full effort part-time. If somebody has a regular part-time job, they work 20 hours a week, right? Full, I mean, in the United States here, a full-time job 